Hi, I'm Alois Rosero from Ping Skills. Today we're going to talk about dealing with the half long ball. So what is a half long ball? So we know what a short ball is. The short ball is the ball that's going to bounce at least twice on your side of the table. The long ball is the ball that's only going to bounce once on the table and then the second bounce is going to be outside the end of the table. The half long ball is the one that becomes a bit more awkward where the first bounce is there and the second bounce is really going to be close to that end line. So that half long ball is difficult because if I try and push the ball from here, the ball's already a long way away from the net and it's going to make it difficult for me to get the ball short at the other end. Also, that second bounce bouncing close to the end line means it's difficult for me to swing from below the table and contact the ball without crashing my bat into the table. So what I need to do is firstly really watch the ball and it often happens on a serve is watch that serve carefully and try to recognise if that ball is going to be half long or if it's going to be short or if it's going to be long. If you can recognise that early, then you can start to move into position. The short ball, you're going to move in and make a push or a flick. The long ball, you're going to get yourself ready to make a stronger topspin ball. That half long ball though, you've got some options. The first one is that even if that second bounce is going to be here, it means that first bounce is still going to be halfway up the table. If I recognise that early enough, I can get to the bounce of the ball and from here I've got much better control. I can still get that ball short or I might be able to flick the ball from here. Now at a more advanced level, it is possible to topspin that half long ball. So let's have a look at it. That ball's going to bounce there, it's going to go up and down. If I can contact the ball here at the top of the bounce and have a much more horizontal stroke but really fast brushing contact, I can still make a topspin on the table. I'm watching the serve, I'm going to see is it short? Short, I'm going to come in and try to get that ball early. If the serve is coming long, I'm going to watch oh, and I'm going to get there and make a top spin. Now this half long ball, you can see that that second bounce was going to be really close to the edge of the table and that's the difficult one. So I need to either come in and still take it early or I'm going to try and come over the table and make that top spin. So it's really important to hone in and watch that serve super carefully right from the point of the backswing through the contact point and then tracking that ball as soon as it leaves the racket and trying to pick up as many cues as you can to see is this ball travelling a bit faster, is it going to come deeper on the table, is it going to come shorter on the table, is it going to come all the way through. So they're the things that you're really looking for and initially you're going to make mistakes and that's why this is a really important part of your practice time to start to be able to recognise better whether the serve is short, long or you've got that awkward half long ball coming and you need to react to it as quickly as you can.